Pokemon trainer or Mifa trainer, but I'm probably wrong. That seems to happen a lot. Right, so we got a Peach player at a Soul X. Very interesting. And Pokemon trainer. Okay, I was right. I was right. All right. Now Pokemon trainer is a character that I used to play a little bit, um, mainly for Ivysaur. This is before Ivysaur was cool. All right, let's get into this. All right, and he's starting off with the Squirtle too. I actually like Squirtle here. Uh, Squirtle's going to be able to get in uh, more often than not with Peach. I think uh, also being really tiny is very hard for a character like Peach to really, you know, start to combo. Uh, not quite getting the ledge trap that he needed there with that forward smash. All right, going right back to the Ivysaur right now. And I think if he if he's trying to play the whole range game with the uh, recently nerfed uh, Razor Leaf, he could be doing. A little bit more of a grab that. Okay. <laughs> Trying to go for the down air. Not quite. He wasn't quite there yet. Forward smash. Always catch and roll. Nice down air. Yeah, that's a dead piece for sure. Yeah, and now if, if Soul X is, you know, very cognizant, you should be aware of the fact that Trainer K is very clear about his uh, admiration for that move. Yeah, it, all you really have to do is recover high. Uh, you don't have to get hit by that. Oh, Turn and hitting two of them. Oh, it's a dead Charizard. All right, going. Okay, going to the Ivysaur once again. Guess he wasn't as confident with Squirtle. Oh my god. I I'm sort of liking what I'm seeing as in terms of the spacing from Soul X. Like even when he's whipping, he's just barely missing. Okay, good floating. Yeah, I like what I'm seeing here. Is he's being uh, very careful here around this Ivysaur. Because yeah, Ivysaur outranges Peach pretty, uh, pretty well. Oh, the down tilt. Okay, putting him right onto a platform. That's not where you want to be. Especially as Charizard. Your disadvantage as Charizard is just uh, it's very ugly. Mm. Oh, <laughs> hitting him right in the neck, too. We got a Saturn on the deck as well. Okay, make it, in, make it. In. There's that Saturn coming into play. I like what he's doing here. He's using the flamethrower and still holding on to the Saturn. Uh, didn't quite get a shield break, but you know what? We got a platform, and that's a dead beach. Um, what? Uh, what just happened? That was kooky. Oh my god, in the back air. That back air is so strong. If you learn how to float cancel bear with Peach, you are in a very good place. Okay, now Squirtle putting himself into a pretty uh, bad position here. You always want to try to maintain that center stage here. And the Razor Leaf. Trying to be mobile with the Razor Leaf, but he's, uh... It doesn't look like he's paying as much attention to his opponent as Solex is. Okay, good conversion. Razor Leaf basically turns into anything that you want it to, you know, turn into. Okay, barely missing with that radish too. No up air. There is the up air. I like the chase. I like the chase that I'm seeing here from Solex. Oh, good that grab. Oh, that could have been an up B. Ooh, I wonder if that was a misinput. Okay, getting hit. Getting hit with the nature. Ooh, that sent upwards for some reason. Okay. <laughs> That, that happens every once in a while with forward smash and send him straight up. Don't know why that happens. Uh, I think it's because he's like right on top of the bowl. But I... That was some jank. That was some jank. And then when he killed with the up B, it wasn't even with the, the sweet spot. So that was just unfortunate all across the board. Alright, looks like we're uh, running it straight back. All right, going to Town City. This is a stage I, I like quite a bit. This is, I mean, it's got a really high ceiling. I like all the platforms, especially when you're playing a character like uh, like Pokemon Trainer, where you have the mobility with Squirtle. Uh, it doesn't seem like he's super keen on Squirtle, but he's you know he's playing him out right now. This is about the time to switch. Yeah, 72. Yeah, especially when a move like Forward Air, Peach's Forward Air, can kill you at about that percentage of Squirtle. Yeah, it's not a good one. And that dash attack is pretty cool too. Oh, I think we saw an attempt at an anti-air control. Okay, got that stage control now. Oh, yeah, this Ivysaur is really maintaining the center stage right now. Threatening with the up airs. Ooh! 
Okay, that whip punish from Peach. On the stitch face, okay, making sure to catch it. Yeah, you definitely, uh, you want to keep that. Oh. Now, if, uh, Solex probably won't get hit like that again. I guess he, uh, forgot. Forgot about what happened last game. And there's his Charizard. And that back throw is a kill throw, but not quite there, especially not on a character like Charizard at that percentage. I'm sure he was on the stage. Oh, float away, I like that. I like that movement a lot. Nice, he done that almost killed. With no rage. Yeah, Charizard's a big heavy boy. He's not going anywhere. I, you know, I really do like the way that uh, Solex moves around with Float, though. I think uh, Trainer K would do well to uh, start trying to bait out a lot of the options that Solex is throwing out here. Very nice. Okay, okay, okay. I like what I saw there. Down tilt into anything, because, you know, Peach can just do that. Nice forward air. Getting a lot of whip punishes with that forward air. It's a great move. She's got a disjoint on the crown. Uh, she kind of leans back a little bit when she does it. Oh, another whip punish. Well, actually, that was a shield punish. Very nicely done. And from what I've seen, the golf club, so there's the golf club when you uh, when you angle it forward, there's the pan when you angle it upwards, and then there's the tennis racket when you angle it down. The the tennis racket, or sorry, the, uh, the golf club has very little kill power, but it has great range. Uh, I think the frying pan is basically what you want to use to kill people with. Oh, yeah, hitting right onto the shield. That forward throw is going to kill. Yeah, we need, uh, we need one game here from Solex to keep himself alive. Uh, yeah, now he's getting whiff punished. Oh, yeah, Charizard's forward air. Oh, boy, oh, boy. I don't even think that was a tipper, either. Uh, good stuff to both players. I saw what he tried to do when he tried to land on the platform there, but uh, yeah, Charizard's tail is just... Oh, so that'll take care of that.